a foodie is a person that loves food. Let's take a look at the word foodie. F-O-O-D, food, and then I-E, sounds like an E. Sometimes we put a I-E or a Y after a word to make it a person. So a foodie is a person who loves food. But also, a foodie appreciates food, is interested where the food comes from, how it's made, how does it look. Foodies are people that like to find good places to eat. So my question in this lesson is, are you a foodie? And how do we talk about food and foodie? Let's take the foodie test together. What do foodies like? First, foodies like to try appetizing cuisine. Hmm, appetizing cuisine. So appetizing means something looks delicious. It looks delicious. So you see it on a plate or maybe on a menu and you go, that looks appetizing. Appetizing comes from appetite. Right? When you're hungry, you have an appetite. Cuisine. Cuisine means food. But cuisine is a vocabulary word that's a little bit more intermediate and high level. We usually talk about cuisine in a restaurant, in a really nice restaurant. But it basically means food. Let's try this new Asian restaurant. I found it online. The cuisine looks appetizing. The French cuisine at this restaurant looks appetizing. Mm. What else do foodies like? Well, foodies will order authentic dishes. Authentic. That means the food is coming from a country and it's real, really like the food from that country. Or the food comes from a culture and it really tastes like it comes from that culture. It's authentic, real. Now dishes, we know dishes are plates and bowls, but here dishes are Names of food or plates of food that are cooked already. So, for example, in Italy, you might have uh, spaghetti and shrimp. Well, spaghetti and shrimp is a dish. It's the name of the dish. Or in China, you might have chicken with peanuts. Well, chicken with peanuts is the name of the dish. It's that name. So we call them dishes. So authentic dishes are dishes that come from a country or a culture and it really tastes like that country and culture. Fresh, of course, we know fresh vegetables are just picked. And homemade means it's made there at a restaurant, not made in another place and brought in by a truck. I only eat at Wang's Palace because... The dishes there are authentic from North China. Fresh and homemade Italian pizza tastes delicious. Foodies expect to get good service. Mm, good service, right? Good waiter, good waitress to help us bring our food and order our food. Now, Service, we can say good service, we can say poor service, but also we can say attentive service, meaning that the server gave you a lot of attention. The service at this restaurant is attentive. That's usually a good thing. If a restaurant has bad service, I will 
stay away from it. Foodies care about portions. What are portions? Portions are the amount of food you get. Do you get a lot of food or just a little bit of food? We will say, is the portion big or small? But what we like are portions that are good value. Good value. So you pay money and you feel you get a good portion back. So portions can be very important. I can't finish my meal tonight. These portions are just too big. Can't finish it. Take it home. We won't eat there again. The portions are small and the service is poor. Foodies care about presentation. Presentation is how the food looks. Does it look pretty? Does it look creative? Does it look cool or modern? Foodies enjoy the food presentation. And what do you usually do when you enjoy the food presentation? Take some photos and share. Don't touch your dishes yet. The presentation is creative. I want to take a photo. I know it's just a hamburger, but the presentation is cool. Foodies get the check. When it's time to pay, you have to pay the check, get the check. So we can pay the bill. Go Dutch. Go Dutch means everybody at the table will pay an equal amount. If there are three people, then we divide it by three. Everybody shares the bill. That's called Go Dutch. Leave a tip. If you think the service was attentive and good, you can leave a tip. And if you live in the United States, you must leave a tip. Do you feel satisfied? Hopefully. Let me get the check for this meal. It's my pleasure. After we get the check, let's split the bill and go Dutch. Split the bill means cut the bill into pieces and we share it. So there you go. The question is, do you think you are a foodie? Let's review. Do you like to find local cuisine? Right? Do you like to order fresh homemade dishes? I do. Do you like to get attentive service? Of course. Do you enjoy a good value portion? And do you take a photo after? I like a good value portion, but I don't usually take a photo. And when you get the bill, do you feel satisfied? Yeah, hopefully I will. So, a little quiz for you. Are you a foodie or are you not a foodie? So my question is, in the comment box, you can write why you are a foodie. But if you're not a foodie, you can write why you are not a foodie. Maybe you think foodies are a little bit silly. Some people do. Okay, well, next time you go out to a restaurant, think about it. Hmm, am I a foodie? And use some of those vocabulary words that we talked about today because they are useful in any restaurant. See you in the next, see you in the next lesson, foodies. Bye-bye.